what is it like seeing society catch up with the Mina Row of vision, seeing, you know, people like Rihanna really embrace yeah. maternity style? You're like, I, I, I this would love happen. it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it because I remember when we started, my husband, especially we live in the Middle East, it didn't kick off here. It mm. didn't take off here at all. It was too fashion forward. It was too sexy. You know, women weren't wearing that in the Middle East. And also e-commerce wasn't a thing here. So we actually, the first few months was like a fail. So I was like, you know what? I know who I'm targeting. And so I started selling in the US, the UK, Australia, and they became our biggest markets. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, at the time, those women, those were that's what they were looking for. So yeah. it worked out. And obviously Beyonce wearing my clothes, Khloe Kardashian, I mean, all of that kind of just really elevated the brand and kind of gave it that stamp of approval that we needed because, um, you know, people like to follow trends. So so that really helped. How does it happen when Beyonce or Chloe, you know, pops up in one of your designs? Is that because you had sent them something hoping they yes. would? OK. And then you were like, oh, my yeah. gosh, you actually wore it. Oh my God. Yeah. So when I started the brand, I was the customer service agent. I was the marketing person. I was the designer. I was literally the one man. It was a one man band when I started the brand. And it's crazy now to think that we have a team just in our office of 25. You know, it's just insane because I'm still there micromanaging. Yeah. But no, I was the one I remember thinking because at first I was like DMing and messaging the celebrities themselves when they announced the pregnancy and they don't check their DMs, you know? So if any young entrepreneur is listening to this, the key in fashion is to reach out to the stylist. Mm -hmm. So that was the secret sweet sauce. So once you get it to the stylist with Beyonce, it was quite special too, because I reached out to Ty Hunter, yep. who then reached out to her actual stylist at the time. Um, forgive me. I can't remember her name at the moment. Oh, I'm killing myself for not remembering but who for Beyonce she chooses her own pieces so Beyonce actually handpicked I was told like four or five pieces that she wanted and so we were like so excited so we were like sitting what checking TMZ checking everywhere because you they don't tag when they wear right so we're like where is when is she gonna wear it and she wore our stuff twice so that was like insane the site broke like about four times because there was like the bandwidth. Oh my God, it was insane. It was so crazy. The Beyonce effect was like, boom. And it's just been up since then. It's so insane because when you think about who you would want to, like, like it doesn't get better than Beyonce. Like Beyonce. the creme de la creme, top of the pyramid, like truly so iconic. That is, that is so amazing. And what pieces was it that she wore? She wore a black or black Aliyah dress. Okay. And um, she wore our off-white Yasmin dress. So one she wore for like Easter and then the other one she wore out for date night. It was so cute. So, so cute. I love it. And, you know, obviously Beyonce is top of the top. But Khloe Kardashian, that's, that's really big too. Any Kardashian. I mean, come on. Huge, 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 huge. Yeah. yeah. And also same with Khloe. It was through her stylist. Her stylist selected a few pieces. We sent it. And she wore one in like a photo shoot. And it was like, wow, there we are. Amazing. Is there anyone, you know, pregnant or not that you would yes. love to see? Or maybe maybe if they have a future pregnancy that you would just like love yes. to see Mina Rowe on? So crazy story. That was Rihanna. So I always wanted to dress Rihanna. I was like, oh my God, Rihanna gets the vision. Oh, she would look. I mean, Mina Rowe just fits Rihanna. It has Rihanna all over it. Um, and so I had like a whole tiff with a friend of mine. I will not name names because you know her. And Rihanna was like following her. And I was like, girl, you need to slide in Rihanna's DMs and let her know that Mina Rowe wants to send her something, you know? And my friend was like, low key, I wouldn't say being a hater, but my friend, and I use that word loosely, was kind of like, uh, yeah, if I'm going to use Rihanna, it's going to be for my stuff. Keep in mind, she's not in fashion, right? So it was like, what? Anyways, I was like, it's fine. I'll just have my team get on it. Luckily, 
my team got on it, reached out to her team. Her team was like, yeah, send them. This, this is the address. So we sent it to her and we're like sitting there waiting for her to get papped in anything, like anything. And she never got papped, but she did receive it. Okay. She did receive it and we did we did get a big thank you. So so that was good, but it was like, oh, we kind of wanted to see you in it, you know? Yeah, but-, but at least you know kinda... that it was like in her possession and she- Yeah, the that part she... was good. Yeah, I love that. And oh, that part was good. That friend of yours, we're going to have to have a little chat because that was not nice. We, that was not nice, right? I think- uh, th- this is a crazy thing. A lot of times people think that if someone gets ahead or you put somebody ahead or anything like that, it stops your blessings. It doesn't. It actually multiplies your blessing. Like you're only hindering and slowing down your blessing and your process. And I wish people would know that. But, you know, don't worry. This is going to be revealed. You, I, One day this person is going to piss me off so bad I'm just going to drop the name. 